While many presidents leave a lasting legacy through their term as commander-in-chief, William Howard Taft holds a unique distinction. He's the only person to have served as both president and chief justice of the United States. Following his presidency, Taft remained active in Republican politics, supporting the successful 1920 campaign of Warren G. Harding. During a meeting with the newly elected president, Taft hinted at his desire for a Supreme Court seat, but only under the condition that it be the Chief Justice position. Despite failing health, Chief Justice Edward Douglas White clung to his post. After his death in 1921, Taft was assumed to be the frontrunner, but Harding surprised many by also promising a seat to Senator George Sutherland. Taft lobbied his case within the Republican Party. Ultimately, with Attorney General Harry Daugherty's support, Taft secured the nomination in June 1921 and was confirmed by the Senate. On July 11, 1921, William Howard Taft took his oath as Chief Justice. His tenure on the court continued until 1930, leaving behind a legacy of judicial opinions and solidifying his place in American history. Did you know?